So Piyush Chavla is going to be here in a very short while. That he landed like uh, 20 minutes ago, I guess. Yes, so he'll be here, sir. So can I say something that you know we are you know fortunate or what? What made us like you know to uh, organize this event and why Sakshi that you know what is the groundwork that you know we did you know for this team to be here, sir? Yes, sir. The reputation, because you know we have uh, many media houses, of course. But you know why Sakshi? Anybody? Because we are passionate. Come on, dude. We love sport, a cricket, and we need to take a pride. Like you know, Sakshi is a media house where the sports, you know, star sports team is here. Piyush Chawla is going to be here, and the cup is being displayed. Yeah. So we have an opportunity to take the pictures along with the star sports team and the cup. Yeah. So I need claps. Come on, that you know you can't just be silent. <laughs> yeah, and I request uh, Mr. Neeraj, who's the ace anchor for Star Sports, and you know very familiar name, and uh, no introduction needed. Come on, come on. Welcome to the dice. So my name is Thank Neeraj you. Juneja. I work for Star Sports. Uh, this is the T20 World Cup Trophy Tour. We started in Mumbai with Mohammed Kef. Uh, we went to the schools, we went to the roads, it was so much fun. Yesterday we were in Delhi with Rishabh Pant. He was very ecstatic and very emotional to see the trophy because a player's dream is to win it. And now we are in Hyderabad after two days of scorching heat. What a welcome of a beautiful weather for us. So thank you, people of Hyderabad. Uh, today we have uh, one of the legends of cricket and his wo introduction to the world of World Cup of cricket is not not very old. He's the winner of 2007 T20 World Cup, winner of 2011 World Cup, uh, 2006 Under-19 World Cup runner-up. So if you have any interesting fun questions uh, for Mr. Piyush Chawla, please be ready. He's a very fun person. Two days back, he was taking wickets of KL Rahul, Marcus Toynes and uh, Deepa Kuda. What a brilliant season for him for Mumbai Indians, though Mumbai Indians did not play really well. But he's going to be with us. Uh, today is also a very interesting match in IPL. That is SRH versus Punjab. Uh, SRH supporters, make a shout, make a, make a cheer. Uh, did anybody cry last night with the Dhoni's defeat in the match? Koi roya kya? Koi, acha. RCB fans, make some noise. Anurag sir, which team are you supporting this season? Ah, then you are at the right spot because IPL is about to over from 2nd of June. We are going to witness the 20 teams playing for one trophy, the biggest of it all. The trophy is right here and we are very thankful to the people, to the Sakshi TV for uh, having us here. So, a big cheer for Sakshi TV. Now, we have some t-shirts with us to... Uh, Say, say. T-shirt. T-shirt. Okay. We don't give T-shirts like this. You have to answer first. Okay? The question is, on which date India is playing its first match of T20 World Cup? 5th of June is the right answer. Anurag, sir, gets it right. You get a T-shirt, sir. Okay. Who is the opponent on 5th of June? Ireland is the right answer. A T-shirt there, please. Ireland is the right answer and then you know we will head into the biggest rivalry we call it hashtag the greatest rivalry we call it the match of the match it is India versus Pakistan 9th June my question is in which city the match is happening New York is the right answer New York, chalo. Thoda sa pe sun sun ke aa gaya. We will give you the t-shirt. <laughs> give him the t-shirt. So the first match for India, it's happening in New York. The second match in New York. India is playing for the first time in USA. And then the journey will continue to the Caribbean islands. It is going to be an interesting tournament. Starts from 2nd of June. When is the finals? 
नहीं फाइनल्स कौन सी डेट पर है ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ जून एब्सोल्यूटली राइट वी हैव अ टी शर्ट फॉर यू सर ओके नॉट द इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन एवरीबडी वॉन्ट्स इंडिया इन द फाइनल्स राइट सो वेन आई से इंडिया यू सर नाउ आई हैव बीन आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन टू एवरी वन विच टीम विच ओपन इन टीम दे वॉन्ट टू सी प्ले इन Only two names crop up. Australia, sir. What do you think? Which team you want to see? Australia. Australia. Australia or Pakistan? We will get an answer from our guest today, Mr. Pius Chawla, as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have our guest with us. Give a warm round of applause for the 2007 T20 World Cup winner, 2011 World Cup winner, runner-up in 2006 Under-19 World Cup. पीयूष चावला पीयूष आई वाज जस्ट मेंशनिंग कि तीन दिन पहले आप के एल राहुल का विकेट निकाल रहे हैं दो दिन, दो दिन पहले, पहले आप मार्केस टॉइनिस का विकेट निकाल रहे हैं आप दीपक हुडा का विकेट निकाल रहे हैं नॉट अ ग्रेट सीजन फॉर मुंबई इंडियंस बट इंडिविजुअली फॉर पीयूष चावला 13 विकेट्स एंड इफ आई से थर्टी फाइव विकेट इन लास्ट टू सीजन वॉट एन अचीवमेंट सर थैंक यू सो मच हाउ डू यू सी हाउ डू यू सी ऑल ऑफ दिस वेल everyone knows the story behind it because a uh, couple of years back when i was not picked and that was kind of a setback for me as a player because one of the highest wicket taker in the ipl not getting a buyer in the auction so there were a lot of thoughts were going around in my mind what to do whether should i announce the retirement whether should i make a comeback so my son who is at that time who was like around 5 years old so he asked me because now he started understanding cricket so he asked me papa you don't play ipl ab uh, who will tell him that your father is one of the highest wicket taker but because he has not seen me so then my mother was sitting my wife was sitting and they said uh, you want to give it a one more try i said why not i'll give it a one more shot and then obviously i went back to domestic cricket and then uh, now you all know what happened in last two seasons absolutely and we are looking forward to ipl 2025 now i am ready till 28 <laughs> 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 lovely Uh, I think it's the time that we should unveil the trophy because it is the ultimate prize. Uh, before that, we we do that one question. You were part of 2007 T20 World Cup. An injury happened. You couldn't play the matches, but you were there when India clinched that trophy. Piyush, take us through the emotions of that last ball, that catch by Sri Sam, that ball by Joginder Sharma. Take us through the emotions. well there were too many thoughts in the mind because the way misba was batting and uh, at that particular time it was very important to keep our nerves on hold because it's not that easy it's easy to say but it's not that easy but when he bowled that ball and he played that scoop shot and first when it went in the air so we thought i don't know what happened exactly but then you realize it didn't get the distance so i was sitting so all of the games i was just sitting in the dressing room because i had a injury in my ankle so that particular over just one or two overs before i came down in the dug, dug out and when shri took that catch i forgot that i am injured <laughs> and i was trying to run i couldn't run obviously but uh, i was kind of limping and i just reached there and and i don't have words to explain that because uh, that was a moment for any cricketer when you start playing cricket so first dream is to play for your country and then after that comes the world cup and being a part of that uh, world cup winning squad that's something no one can take that memory away from me absolutely love it piyush chawla we say trophy is just not a piece of metal it's lot of emotions it's lot of hard work it's lot of inspiration we are on the trophy tour by star sports it's time to unveil the trophy please do the honors sir First reaction to the trophy, everyone. How's it looking, trophy? How's it? Okay. We want to keep it back. We want to keep it back. But India has to earn it. Let's talk about India right now. First and very basic question, Piyush. You've seen the squad. 
India chances? Well, looks a very good squad and uh, quite balanced. And if you see, we have got quite a few all-rounders in there, like Aksar is there, he's doing really good, Jaddu is around, and then Hardik and Hardik in last few games, the way he has come back to the form. So, and uh, if you see overall, batting is quite balanced. You have that lefty-righty combination, everything. Rishabh is back, who is like, after that kind of an accident, incident, the way he has come back, the way he's keeping, because Everyone thought that whether he'll be able to keep or not, but the way he kept in the IPL, he was just phenomenal. So, hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> the second question comes and everybody wants an answer here. Piyush Chavla's four likely semi-finalists. Um, India, obviously. And, uh, I think whenever we say India, we have to clap, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's, let's just not call it Ec an auditorium. Let's just make it a stadium. Yeah. When I say India, you say... Yeah. Actually, you don't need to ask me four semi-finals. You just need to ask me three because India is obvious. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then West Indies could be a dark horses because their players are specialized in T20 cricket and the way they play, especially in their home conditions. Then Australia, yes. Okay. And everybody here wants... India versus Australia final also. Abhi wo door ki baat hai. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one, I would say, it's a toss-up between England and New Zealand. Okay. No Pakistan there? Haal lag nahi rahe unke. When we talk about India squad, it's a very packed squad. Uh, Piyush, according to you, players to watch out for? All 16. Ah. But okay. No, but see, you can't really point out because everyone is a match winner. Hmm. So you can't really say that this guy will win because on that particular given day, everyone is a match winner. So I can't really point out at one particular player or two, three that they're going to win us the trophy because at the end of the day, it's, gonna be a, team it's a team game. You need that small, small performances also at the right time to win the trophy. So you can't really say that he made 300 in the whole tournament and somebody took 20 wickets. The guy who will get 5-6 wickets also in the tournament, that's going to be the equally important thing. Absolutely, absolutely. Really appreciate it that you guys like it. Piyush, how does it feel when you walk out on the ground and the national anthem plays? Well, there are no words to explain that as well because we are going to represent your country and the national anthem which we all live for and then you just feel that. Okay, and that emotions run very hard on the 9th of June as well because it's going to be India versus Pakistan. We have a lot of questions for India versus Pakistan. But before that, we are going to show you the promo because it's not on the field. It's off the field banter also between an Indian fan and a Pakistani fan. It's the match of the match. It's the greatest rivalry. It's funny, it's cheeky, it's interesting. You guys like it? Yes, India versus Pakistan, the battle we all are looking for. My first question is the battle between two players that you are very interested to see. Um, the way Rohit batted in the last game. Uh -huh. He's back in form. I don't know how many of yours, but he's my all-time favorite. Not because he's my friend, but he's my all-time favorite. So, Shine Shah Afridi uh -huh. and Rohit. Lovely. Shine Shah Afridi versus Rohit Sharma. Does anybody from the sports team here or from the editorial team... Any battle that you are looking forward to? In any battle that you are looking forward to between two players? Okay, that's a very interesting question. Who's the toughest opponent team-wise? Um, well, honestly speaking, Australia, I would say, not because they have won so many World Cup, because they have that experience. Because when it comes to the knockout stage, so in the bigger games, in that high-pressure game, the team who knows to win those small moments, so, Australia is one of those. So, I see Australia as one of the toughest opponents. You know, Piyush, before you came, I was asking everyone, if India reaches finals, which opponent team would you like to see? And most of them said Pakistan and Australia. Australia. And Aust Australia. 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 But is it a possibility of 2007 final repeat telecast? It's difficult. Because I said that as India and other teams are playing, it's really good because uh, everybody would love to watch India-Pakistan final and we will cover it. But uh, 
आई डाउट इंडिया पाकिस्तान इंडिया एंड उधर कोई भी रख लेना यार द वे इज आउट राइटिंग पाकिस्तान इज लाइक अरे फुल कॉन्फिडेंस है इंडिया तो पहुंचेगा पाकिस्तान नहीं पहुंचेगा रोहित शर्मा विराट कोहली रोहित इज बैक इन फॉर्म कोहली इज आउटस्टैंडिंग दिस सीजन आह दैट मेक्स इंडिया वेरी स्ट्रांग राइट पीयूष 100% बिकॉज लॉट ऑफ पीपल वर डिस्कसिंग वेदर रोहित एंड विराट विल प्ले और नॉट बट समवे अराउंड सेकेंड डिसम्बर I had one interview with Rupa. You remember? Yeah, yeah. So Rupa first and post. me had one, yeah, for first post. So there I said it very clearly because youth you need, but you need experience as well in T20 cricket. Because there are so many moments where that high pressure games, you need somebody experienced to take the team home, and these two are ex exactly the same. It's a big squad for Team India. If I would put you in a situation to give your playing eleven. से इंडिया पाकिस्तान गेम क्या हो सकता है वेल इफ यू स्टार्ट ऑब्वियसली रोहित जायसवाल नंबर थ्री इज विराट नंबर फोर काम सूर्य नंबर फाइव ऋषभ नंबर सिक्स हार्दिक डिपेंडिंग लेफ्ट ही राइट ही वॉट यू नीड एंड देन काम्स जड्डू एंड देन एट कुलदीप फॉलोड बाय depending on the pitch yeah yeah whether you need two fast bowlers and one more spinner if one more spinner then i'll go with aksar because the kind of form he is in with the bat as well and if you need uh, three bowlers three fast bowlers so yeah three fast bowlers rishabh sanju rishabh yeah to start with you'll go with rishabh, rishabh okay. and sanju is also doing really good the way he is batting but rishabh that give you that little bit of edge because of the left hander in between mm -hmm. because most of the team they comes with one leg spinner and one left arm spinner and middle order you need another left hand so yesterday we were in delhi uh, <laughs> having a session with uh, rishabh pant i asked him his one handed sixes we saw in the last world cup also we saw in the ipl also against mr fazul rahman i asked him will we get to see in the ipl he's like bhaiya wahan to ball aur slow aata hai aur dikhenge <laughs> so that's rishabh pant and we are really happy that he is back what a come back for rishabh pant as well who's your favorite spinners guy कौन आपका फेवरेट स्पिनर अदर देन पीयूष चावला जड्डो कुलदीप यादव और अक्षर एंड यूजी चहल माय क्वेश्चन इज इन चार स्पिनर्स में से हु डू यू थिंक इज द मोस्ट क्रूशियल डेफिनेटली कुलदीप बिकॉज द वे ही इज बोल्ड इन लास्ट वन वन एंड अ हाफ ईयर बिकॉज इन टी ट्वेंटी देर आर सिचुएशन वेर यू नीड विकेट एंड पीपल से यू हैव टू कंटेन द बैट्समैन बट नाउ अट इज If a batter is batting, so he'll not like to block the balls. Even if it's the first ball in his arc, he'll go for it. So you need somebody who can pick wickets for you in the middle, and Kuldeep is doing exactly the same. Kuldeep, yeah, the other fans, make some noise. Jaddu fans, Jaddu fans, kal roye raat ko did you cry last night, sir? Did you cry last night? <laughs> okay. Uh, two days pehle hi ab Bumrah ke saath the pura ek season ap logon ne saath ne bitaya. Uh, what is his uh, excitement for this world cup sir he's really looking forward that's why i took the break also last game because he just wanted to you know because we were obviously already out unfortunately from the tournament so he just took the break and now he's really looking forward because it's been quite some time we didn't win the icc trophy and bumrah definitely going to play a huge role because he's somebody जब वो चार ओवर डालने आता है ना तो लोग उसको रन बनाने को नहीं देखते वो चार ओवर सिर्फ खेल के निकालने yeah, के लिए देखते हैं सो दैट मेक्स अ ह्यूज डिफरेंस एंड ही इज समबडी हुज अ विकेट टेकर एज वेल इट्स नॉट दैट जस्ट ही इज बोलिंग फोर ओवर्स फॉर 20 25 रन्स एंड नॉट गेटिंग द विकेट्स बिकॉज़ ही बोल्स क्रूशियल ओवर्स फॉर यू एंड देयर ही एंड अप पिकिंग विकेट्स आल्सो फॉर यू एज अ टीम सो ही इज अ ग्रेट ग्रेट एसेट पेस वर्सेस स्पिन व्हाट डू यू थिंक इंडिया स्ट्रेंथ दिस सीजन दिस दिस वर्ल्ड कप वेल स्पिनर्स आर लुकिंग quite good that uh, the way four spinners has been because we all know wickets going to be slow in west indies and uh, us it's going to be like what i heard it's a drop in wicket from australia so when i played on drop in wickets so generally it used to be a flat wicket so still you need somebody the skillful spinners and you see the squad you have uh, kuldeep then you have uh, yuzi and then akshar and jaddu so we have good four very good spinners so spin department looks quite heavy hmm. and paces also ashdeep has done well and then uh, uh, bumrah obviously we all know he is doing wonders with the ball and siraj has also come to a form now because uh, earlier when it started obviously it can happen to anyone 
but the way he came back so strongly in the tournament in the IPL, so good for his confidence and good for Team India as well. Anurag sir, you follow cricket very, can, can we have the mic please here? <laughs> you follow cricket very closely. Uh, what, what do you think? Uh, in which department India is really strong? Batting? Spinners? Or? I think, uh, I think as Piyush said, we have a fairly balanced team. Um, but I think the batting is a strong point that India has. Um, especially looking at the IPL, the way it went, I mean, the number of sixes, number of fours, everybody's in a T20 mode right now. And directly from there, we go into this ICC World Cup. In fact, interestingly, I'm in a very funny situation, if I may share. Okay. I'm landing in US on 8th of June evening. Somebody's going to watch at the stadium, match <laughs> at the stadium? Really? What? No, 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 no. So this India-Pakistan local time will be 9th morning in New York. Yeah. But I'm six hours away. I'm in Seattle. So I'm in a big quandary what to do. <laughs> but anyway, I'll probably follow it on TV. But I'm sure we'll do extremely well. Looking forward to the entire tournament. But if you get, to get a chance to watch one match of India against a team, which one would you pick? I think I'll probably go to the final, Barbados. Ah, <laughs> nice, 29th, nice. 29th of June. I open the floor for the guests, uh, for the audience here. If you have any questions, please ask a question. Well, as I said, if we go with the three proper fast bowlers, then uh, we just have three in the squad. The fourth one is Hardik. And if we go with two, so we might, yes. Because uh, you need one left arm, Seema, Arshdeep, and then uh, Bumra, obviously. He'll walk in, so, yeah. So it totally depends on the team's combination. Uh, do you think that uh, nowadays, cricket has been more batter-friendly than bowler-friendly? Do you think that it is more bowler-friendly or batter-friendly now? Sir, there is a saying, batters win you games, bowlers win you championship. Oh. Oh, good, 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 good. So, good. it has become batting-friendly, but if you see at the end of the day, the teams who has got good bowling lineup, they end up winning the more tournaments and more matches because no matter if you get 240 also on the board in a T20 game because in IPL we are all wondering why 240, 260 but because of the impact player rule, till yeah. number 10 you have batters but uh, in international cricket you don't have that. So if you lose three, four quick wickets, so then you have to balance your game accordingly, you have to strategize accordingly. but. Uh, Bowling, obviously you have to have strong bowling lineups. The team over the years who have won the championship, even in IPL, they all had like good bowling lineup. So, yes, it's good for the crowd, batting friendly, but at the end of the day, if you looking at it from a winning point of view, so you have to have good bowling lineup. Good answer, sir. Thank you. Yeah, Bish. How do you control your emotions in final overs, like uh, 10 balls, 5, 30 runs kind of thing, situation? Sir, I'm playing professional cricket for the last almost 22 years now. Not 40, uh, 35. So okay. I started when I was 13. So I played my first junior cricket professional game when I was 13. So with the time you get mature, you start understanding the things. So I just control it. Not control it, automatic happens now. <laughs> Shami is a great asset for the team, so definitely will miss him because. But injuries are something which you can't control. Most challenging batsman you have balled to in your career. The most challenging, challenging batsman you have balled to. There have been quite a few, like have been like really challenging. So one was them was Virubai. Virendra Sehwag, when I played against him okay. in IPL or in domestic cricket. So he was one of the most challenging batter to bowl. And uh, Rahul, Rahul Bhai, Rahul Dravid. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Two very different personalities, if I say. Yeah, because uh, somebody like Viru Bhai, he didn't understand the spinner to the So that's why he's very challenging. Like even if you, and if you bowl first ball also, so he'll, not think about it and he'll go and the most of the time he'll connect all the balls right. if you remember there was a guy came Ajanta Mendes who was ruling everywhere in the world even against the Indian batters and Virubhai batted against him and then from that time onwards Ajanta Mendes was on back foot against India <laughs> so that kind of aura Virubhai had and uh, Rahul Bhai was so 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 technically correct that you have to ball the ball of your life 
to get him out. All right, any more questions do we have? Yes, sir. Please, please, please. Yeah, if you see the youngsters are coming up, nobody wants to take bowling now, and especially after looking at this year's IPL, 270, 280. After a point of time, that also gets boring for the crowd as well. Because you just come, you see 280 runs, other team getting 260 runs, still ending up on a losing side. So I think it has to be a little challenging. Either you give pitch, there is something in the pitch, or this impact player rule, I don't know. Because impact player is just happening in IPL. If it's a global rule, I understand, but just in IPL, it's happening. So I think that's going to not that beneficiary for the bowlers. As uh, we're all very aware that uh, US is the first time which is hosting the World Cup right now. Yeah. How hard it would be for either the teams uh, comparing to the previous World Cups? Well, it's not going to be that easy because you're going to a country where cricket hardly happened and hardly players played there. And uh, as you said, we have came to the conclusion that we have... So whenever the World Cup is about to start, we always say we are going to win this. But uh, see, at the end of the day, it's a game. The sun just mentioned at the end of the day, it's a sports. Because in knockouts, you never know. It's just about that, you know, those five overs, one good spell. How many of you remember 2019 50-over World Cup? When New Zealand scored 240-odd runs, we all were like, India will chase it down easily. Yes. But that one good spell of 5-6 over by Matt Henry and Trent Bolt, that messed up the game for us. So, I am not at the conclusion, but obviously hopeful that uh, we make it to the finals and we win the finals. Yes. On, on that note, Piyush, my question is, you have seen it in 2007, 2011, 2009, 20, 2006, under-19, how do you manage the outside noise that comes? Because everyone is expecting trophy jeetna, trophy jeetna. And when you were playing, I'm sure everyone would be coming to you, Aray, trophy lana sir, trophy lana sir. How do you deal with it? Well, unko bas ek hi jawab deta Bhai, aap karna. <laughs> so we know it. What do we need to do? Do I? Sir, question right there. Sir, I'm going to continue in IPL for sure. And especially the kind of two seasons I had. And... For that, I have to put in a little extra effort now because domestic cricket and then by the side by side, I've become a commentator as well. <laughs> so, thoda zyada mehnat hai, but theek hai, kar lenge. Mere ko usse koi farak nahi pad raha na sir, kyunki main to batting bhi karta hoon lower order mein. To jab se impact player aaya, mujhe usse koi fayda nahi hua, nuksan hi hua hai. Because aap dekhiye na, char out hote hain, to number 6 pe dekhte hain, udar phir bhi batsman chala aara hai. Jab impact player nahi hota tha, to ek all rounder aata tha. उसे थोड़ा इनिंग बिल्ड करने के लिए टाइम लेना पड़ता था बट अभी वो बंद हो गया है अभी एक नंबर इनफैक्ट एक मैच में हम लोग ने कुछ तीन आउट कर दिए थे शुरू में ही बट स्टिल दे एंडेड अप गेटिंग व्हाट सम 190 प्लस पहले ऐसा नहीं होता था तो इंपैक्ट प्लेयर से तो नुकसान हो रहा है मेरे जैसे बॉलर्स को ओके वी टेक वन मोर क्वेश्चन डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यस सर ओह सेकंड फेवरेट टीम या Good question, yeah. Australia. Yeah. Favorite to win the World Cup, you're saying, right? Or favorite as an overall? Favorite to win the World Cup, Australia, yes, because uh, as I said, they have that experience to play those big tournaments and handle that pressure better than any other team. And during IPL, you get to see a lot of Australian players. You play along with them. What do you think, Piyush? What makes Australia such a formidable opponent? Well, the way they play their cricket, their, their intent is quite good and quite clear. And uh, we have seen like uh, somebody like Glenn Maxwell. His IPL was not that great this year and that can happen to anyone. But the way he comes into the ICC tournaments, that one knock, and you need that one knock in this kind of tournament from each player. Sometimes it's like, uh, say, Travis Head, sometimes it's uh, Glenn Maxwell, and you just need one good spell from any bowler. It's not that uh, it's the, you know, a uh, burden on any one player that you have to win the World Cup. You go with the score of 15. So if one match winner, you get every game. So that makes the difference. Lovely. And a very, uh, not a cricket question. Let's talk about the city, Hyderabad. Lovely city. How much do you love coming here? Have you tried the food? the dum, uh, dum biryani and uh, double ka meetha, right? Yeah, it's very popular. What do you think of Hyderabad? I love Hyderabad. I've been here so many times and I just enjoy playing at Opal Stadium also. 
ठीक आई एम गेटिंग क्रिकेट इन टू इट बट इट्स ओके आई कम फॉर दैट हेयर एंड देन यस इट्स नॉट ओनली अबाउट बिरयानी आई लव हलीम ऑल्सो हेयर यस और मीठा शौक नहीं है तो कभी ट्राई नहीं किया अच्छा कोई सजेशन मिलेगा अगर आज पीयूष भाई कहीं खाना खाने जाए तो कहाँ जाए फिर एनी सजेशन विच प्लेस टू गो टू पैराडाइज तो मत बोलना बोर हो गया पिस्ता हाउस की बिरयानी ओके Do send in your suggestions. Thank you so much, everyone at Sakshi TV for having us here. We are really thankful uh, for last two days. There was shooting. It was really hot. The AC is really good. Small things really matter, and that makes the player also very comfortable. So thank you so much. Uh, I would like to call on stage Mr. Uh, Anurag Agrawal, the CEO of Sakshi TV, to please meet Mr. Piyush Chawla. Mm-hmm.